Hello and welcome to 4K Gaming and Tutorials. Now today we're going to be doing something with uh, batch files. If you've ever gone on Chrome and you have a bunch of tabs open and you press X, then it just closes all those tabs out. So what if you wanted to save those? Well, now we have a solution. It comes from uh, killing the task chrome.exe and normally how you do this is go in through Windows Task Manager and find the task and right click it and say in task or in task process tree then that would immediately close the program and when that happens then Chrome takes a dump and offers you to restore once you load Chrome again and that might be a little too many steps especially on a regular basis and it's a little complicated for anyone who's not familiar with the task manager it looks kind of like a bunch of uh, random nonsense to some people so here we have just one line uh, maybe 10 characters that you have to type in and I'll walk you through how to make the batch file so we're here on your desktop go ahead and click new go down to text we're gonna name this uh, I don't know save Chrome tabs. We double click this. Going to say paste, and this is what you want to t type in. I just went ahead and uh, copied so I can paste it here. It's task kill, it's all one word, and then space backslash f space backslash im space and then chrome.exe. Now, after you have this in there, then you want to say save as and the way you save batch files here is you go and instead of saving as a txt you say save all files and then you manually put in the extension bat then we click save and then we see we have a batch file here and that's what our batch file is that's what it does so you can go ahead and delete that. We won't be needing the text file anymore. And we'll go on to here. And for any of y'all who are wondering, this is where I got it. You can use this for any any uh, task or process or anything. You just have to fill in the exe name, which is the going into task manager and doing all that stuff. So it makes it a little bit more simple to do this. And I've tested this with Chrome. So we have our tabs open, Google, history, memory, and uh, you know if you click X and it'll just go away. But when we have this here we can double click, it will load, and it will start immediately closing all the Chrome processes. If you notice that uh, Chrome does have several processes that's because uh, your extensions. Your extensions will uh, have one process per extension I think and then maybe a few more not exactly sure how it gets that many uh, exe processes but I know they are directly tied to extensions because if you close one of them manually it will say this extension has crashed so that's that's what that is and at first I thought you might have to put in that multiple times close all of them but no it does it all for you just just one line and one click or double click if you will so we'll go back down here and click it and it asks you do you want to restore pages you click restore and there it is this really comes in handy when you're wanting to shut down your computer like to save power because before I thought of this I'm like I want my computer to be on all the time because I don't want to have to relook up my chrome pages from my history and that's kind of annoying so I thought about all the times that I had uh, a crash or Chrome crashed or something for whatever reason and it offered me to restore them. Like, then I went into Windows Task Manager and tested that and that's what it was and I remembered you could do something like this. So that's, that's how we got it. And um, it's also really good because uh, even if you don't want to shut down your computer then you can still do that and you can also add in that batch file to shut down your computer as well so that makes it like a one click save same chrome and uh, shut down computer so that's uh, that's pretty much it
you know, just one line of code. It's not really that many characters, and then you're you're good to go. You know, if this helped you, make sure you like it and subscribe for more interesting and informative tutorials that may be helpful in the future. And don't forget to leave a comment if you have uh, anything else you'd like for me to do in tutorial wise because I do upload these things uh, fairly regularly when I find something interesting such as this to share. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Later guys.